हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर अनिकेत पावनोजी एंड यू आर वाचिंग बेसिक केमिस्ट्री वेलकम टू द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस ऑन मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थियरी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मॉलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल थियरी टू वाटर मॉलिक्यूल बिफोर वी मूव ऑन काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माय न्यू वीडियोज बिफोर वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एम टू बेरिलियम डाईहाइड्राइड मॉलिक्यूल In one of my earlier videos I have explained this application of MOT to BeH2. If you have not watched that video, click on the above link and please watch it. Just to revise, beryllium dihydride is a linear molecule. In the same way we can consider water molecule also in linear arrangement. Just instead of beryllium there will be oxygen as the central atom. If we consider like this The first step would be formation of group orbitals according to LCAO method. As two 1s orbitals are combining there will be formation of two group orbitals. Then these group orbitals will overlap with atomic orbitals of the central atom according to SALCS method. In the case of beryllium the central atomic orbitals are 2s, 2pz, 2py and 2px. The group orbitals thus formed that is the psi1 will overlap with 2s orbital Psi2 will overlap with 2pz orbital and there will be no matching symmetry orbitals for 2py and 2px these will remain non bonding and accordingly in beryllium dihydride molecule we have seen this was the mot diagram if we consider the same diagram for h2o molecule considering h2o as a linear molecule this would be the diagram and when we fill the electrons as in case of oxygen there are total 4 electrons in 2p orbital these 4 electrons will get occupied in 2px and 2py molecular orbitals and instead of this molecular electronic configuration this would be the molecular electronic configuration for linear h2o molecule but experimentally it is found that water molecule is not a linear molecule rather it is angular molecule also we have studied according to valence bond theory that h2o undergoes sp3 hybridization and the bond angle is 104.5 degree so what is the difference between beryllium dihydride and water molecule beryllium dihydride is a linear molecule with four valence electrons whereas h2o is an angular molecule with eight valence electrons however it is found that h2o molecule cannot be stable in linear configuration but it is stable in an angular form so let's apply molecular orbital theory to water molecule the first step is linear combination of atomic orbitals where hydrogen atomic number 1 electronic configuration is 1s1 so two 1s orbitals of two hydrogen atoms they combine with each other as two are combining two group orbitals will be formed one will be bonding molecular orbital psi1 and other will be anti bonding molecular orbital psi2 before we consider the combination of these group orbitals with atomic orbitals of the central atom we need to consider water molecule in xz plane when we consider in a linear arrangement the psi1 group orbital that is the 2 1s orbitals of two hydrogen atoms near to the 2px orbital of the central oxygen atom we can see that it is a non bonding situation what is non bonding situation we have seen in one of my earlier videos that is salient features of molecular orbital theory If you have not watched that video click on the above link and please refer to the video this is a non bonding situation where 1s orbital cannot combine with the central 2px orbital when we move to the angular arrangement in order to get an extra stability these two 1s orbital move to the central 2px orbital in this fashion that is how two 1s orbitals that is the psi1 group orbital combines with the 2px orbital Along with this we have to also consider the 2s orbital of the central oxygen atom. Now we have to remember that here there are total 3 orbitals which are combining. The first is the group orbital psi1 which combines with the 2s orbital of the central oxygen atom as well as the 2px orbital of the central oxygen atom. Therefore when 3 orbitals combine with each other according to molecular orbital theory 3 molecular orbitals will be formed. let's understand in a better way with the help of symmetry adapted linear combinations method as we have seen that there are three atomic orbitals which are participating namely 2s orbital of the central oxygen atom 2px orbital of the central oxygen atom 
and psi1 group orbital. 3 are combining, therefore 3 will be formed, out of which first is the bonding molecular orbital sigma s, the second is the bonding molecular orbital sigma x, and third is antibonding molecular orbital sigma star x. Now how sigma s is formed? Sigma s is formed by the combination of psi 2s orbital of the central oxygen atom, psi 2px orbital of the central oxygen atom and psi 1 group orbital which is formed by psi 1s plus psi 1s. In case of sigma x, it is formed by the combination of psi 2s minus psi 2px plus psi 1 group orbital. And finally, the antibonding orbital that is the completely antibonding orbital is formed by combination of psi 2s minus psi 2px minus psi 1 group orbital. In this way, there are total two bonding molecular orbital and one antibonding molecular orbital is formed. Among the two bonding orbital, sigma s is highly stable having the lower energy and highest stability. Now in case of beryllium dihydride molecule, if we remember, psi 2 was the non-bonding orbital because there was no symmetrically available orbital to overlap with it. But in case of H2O molecule, psi 2pz orbital of the central oxygen atom combines with psi 2 group orbital. Now two are combining, two will be formed out of which one will be bonding orbital sigma z and other will be antibonding orbital sigma star z. Sigma z is formed by the combination of psi 2pz of the central oxygen atom and psi 2 group orbital. Pay attention to the sign of the psi 2 group orbital. Here it is minus. In case of psi 1, it is plus. Similarly, an antibonding orbital that is sigma star z is formed by the combination of psi 2pz of central oxygen atom minus psi 2 group orbital. So these are the total 5 molecular orbitals are formed. Now one more atomic orbital of the central oxygen atom is remaining that is psi 2py. As there is no suitable orbital to overlap with psi 2py, psi 2py remains non-bonding. Let's draw the molecular orbital diagram of water molecule. For this we have to consider hydrogen atomic number 1, electronic configuration 1s1 and oxygen atomic number 8, electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. We have to remember that only valence orbitals participate in bonding. Therefore, 1s of oxygen atom we will not consider. We will consider only 2s orbital and 2p orbital of the central oxygen atom. On the left hand side we have the energy. At one side we have atomic orbitals of oxygen and on the other side we have group orbitals of hydrogen 1 and hydrogen 2. At center we will have molecular orbitals of water molecule. In case of oxygen there is first 2s orbital and then 2px, 2py and 2pz orbitals. There are total two group orbitals psi1 and psi2. First there is a combination of 2s orbital of the central oxygen atom. 2px orbital of the central oxygen atom and psi1 group orbital to form sigma s bonding orbital then sigma x bonding orbital and sigma star x antibonding orbital. The second combination is of 2pz orbital of the central oxygen atom and psi2 group orbital to form sigma z bonding orbital and sigma star z antibonding orbital. As we know there is no suitable orbital to overlap with 2py. This 2py orbital remains non-bonding. Now there are total 6 electrons in the atomic orbital of oxygen and 2 electrons from the 2 group orbitals. So total 8 electrons will get occupied according to Aufbau rule and Hans rule. Thus sigma s will occupy 2 electrons, sigma z will occupy 2 electrons, sigma x will also occupy 2 electrons and finally there will be 2 electrons in the non-bonding molecular orbital. Therefore, molecular electronic configuration of H2O molecule is sigma S square, sigma Z square, sigma X square and PY square which is a non-bonding orbital. As there are no unpaired electrons, it is a diamagnetic molecule and the structure of water molecule is angular with the bond angle of 104.5 degree. This molecular orbital diagram is also experimentally confirmed with the help of photoelectron spectrum. Note that there are total 4 molecular orbitals which contains the electron. Hence when we record the photoelectron spectrum, we get total 4 bands. Each band correspond to the molecular orbital containing electrons. 
The first band corresponds to the non-bonding orbital, second to the sigma x, third sigma z and the fourth is sigma s. As the electron move away from the center of the nucleus, the energy of each electron in each molecular orbital changes, which suggests that the molecular orbital diagram that we have studied is the correct one. I hope you followed the application of molecular orbital diagram to water molecule. If you like my video, click on like, do share and subscribe my channel. If you want to mention something or ask something, mention it in the comment box. Also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry. Thank you.